We're back in Roma. In front of our sister's brothel. Which we make frequent use of. Oh, there we go. Stream finally caught up. Thanks, Twitch. Alright. Let's have some fun! When in Roma. So what exactly is this? Rosa and Fiore. Forge your influence. We are in a lot more territory than I thought. What is this place? This place looks important. How is this under our control? Ah well. Okay. That's not helpful. Cheers for the work, Graydon. What are you doing at the front of my brothel? Stay out of my territory. What are you doing, <laughs> Bit overkill. Could have just used the sword, but um Sure, why not? Don't need brains to identify a guy, I suppose. Oops. Oh well. We all call this. You sure? Yep. <laughs> it's cool with the body as long as I'm not holding it. A dead body? Yes, this is normal. A dead body over some guy's shoulder? Now something's weird. Have you ever wanted to be a... Wow, you just stepped right up there. Hold on. I have some people to deal with. <laughs> I have some visitors over. good when the visitors leave. No, not the sword. This. Have you ever wanted to be a, a fount, a pool feature? A pond feet? Fuck it, ruined it. <laughs> ah, well. well. You're shiny. You'll make an even better one. How can you just step up there? Look at that. Man doesn't skip leg day. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Yeah. They're just... On break. This is a tough guy who won't let me move. Okay. Oh my. Let's see if I can get banned already. I usually get cancelled pretty quick into a Twitch stream, but um... Alright, we're gonna do it. Nah! <laughs> That's the pee pee. -pee. Oh, a thing I can buy. Do I have money? Doesn't matter if I have money or not, I haven't done enough property damage. Let's 
buy one of these though. It isn't Carnival, is it? Oh, I hate people that just have a conversation right out the front of a fucking store or something like that, blocking the entrance. Fuck you, people are annoying. Hold on. Yes. <laughs> Grab. Grab. <laughs> Don't tackle. Grab. Why would they... Hold on, hold on. This isn't right. These used to collapse when you threw people into them. No! Hold on, this is a science experiment. I, um... My hypothesis is... You go into big thing, big thing go boom, you know? Very scientific. Yeah, well, my hypothesis was proven wrong. You have nothing to do with anything? What, are you living my life? Actually, we might do the Borgia Tower. I've got story time. There it is. <laughs> story time with Quarren. Come on, sit around the campfire, kiddos. Actually... No, I'm gonna... Story time will come later, actually. I'm gonna keep you in suspense for a little while. Okay, I will come down. I came down hard. Oops. Nothing. I swear they used to react more hilariously. Such a disappointment. Let's buy something. Such Doctor, what you got? I can, only make... I can sell items? Oh, this is when this got introduced. I was wondering why I was collecting tomatoes. Hand away. Whew, six tomatoes for 700 florins. But they were peasant food, weren't they? Investments? I can invest in... Oh my, this isn't just buying property, you got to invest in property. Oh god, what's... What's the Bitcoin value of this place? Uh... <laughs> no, what's the Dogecoin value of this doctor? How many doctors can I get for a Dogecoin? Very low risk factor. And how does that... Buddhist prayer beads? What? <laughs> Why is my return on my investment Buddhist prayer... From my... If I invest into a doctor in Renaissance Rome, my <laughs> return is Buddhist prayer beads. Hold on, I need to do some quick math here. Now let me just get out my calculator here, just... And the answer is, that makes fuck all sense! <laughs> that shrunken head! <laughs> Actually, that does make sense, you don't know what this guy's into. Um... So what do I... so if I put eight in 800... Potential earnings, is that per... In-game out? 34 minutes left. Does it... how to? What the fuck? I never knew the system was in this game. How many times have I played this game and I never knew... 
You could get into the fucking stock market. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, popularity. The average appeal of the zone, the more popular a shop, the more expensive the investment, and the more money you will share your final earnings with the other investors. Other players investing. Other players? This is a multiplayer thing? Low popularity, low sharing, medium pop- yeah, yeah, yeah. What are these two? Doesn't say anything next to these two. What's going on? <laughs> Each zone has a fixed risk factor. The higher the risk is, the less chance you have to reach maximum earning potential. Five levels of risk. Combination of popularity and risk factor will determine the outcome of your earnings. It is up to you to determine how risky you want to be. So this isn't like a hundred percent reward thing. This is like a hundred percent completion thing. This is just like a cool little gimmick where you could interact with other players playing the game at the same time, I suppose. Except not really. It's 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 like playing What was that What was that phone app called where you You could buy property, like actual places in your area, and the and you'd get money based on how many other people using the app actually visited that place. What was that called? Landlord or something like that. But you know what this, what it's also kind of like is kind of like Devil May Cry Five, where um, if another player was doing the same level as you, you could occasion if there was one of those levels where there are multiple characters operating in the same time frame, you could occasionally see those other characters as they're being played by other players. Except that's kind of neat. This is... <laughs> this is too far removed. Especially in a game that's probably now dead, so they're all probably high return, right? Because no one, no one's... Yeah, they're all high return because no one's playing this game anymore. I ain't even gonna... No, don't call your horse. Shop. Yeah, I ain't even gonna bother with that. Way, way too long. Okay. That's it. I bought something. Yay. Hey, horsey. I have never seen it. Ooh, it's down in the dungeon. My horse doesn't want to come in the dungeon. I guess he's familiar with me then. <laughs> Right, where am I going? Uh, there's a viewpoint here. Let's do a viewpoint. Isn't it illegal? Do you possibly, by any chance at all, mean this? Because probably. Where is a bank? The bank vault. The bank vault? Is there only one place I can get it? Where is the... Is it... That's a flag. Oh, it's that. Don't the Borgia own the banks? Don't they just... Not... F Fucking accept our investments. I'm confused how we have any control in this city that's supposedly so controlled by the Borgia. Like, why don't they just attack the brothel we clearly just renovated? But just suddenly had a weird. <laughs> Even though the Madonna died and someone. And a mother and daughter pair came from 
outside the city with a huge amount of investment money for the place took over and renovated it. And they don't want to check on that? I mean, they know assassins are... I mean, they might think Ed's used it, but they know assassins are still at large. And probably want to avenge, in their mind, Mario and Ezio. No, 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 change direction, Ezio. You are getting old. Okay, this side then. Seems like it would have been easier from the other side, but Ezio's always got to do things the difficult way. I've gone too high though, haven't I? I've gotten too high. What the hell? What? Is... What? Are there just bushes growing up here? What? Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, what did I reveal? Because I already had like this zone and this zone, so I've just revealed this little tiny bit in the middle. Doctor, 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 what are these? Tail. Oh, right, I've got to buy shit, don't I? Means I'd have to do the Borgia Tower. What's this? Courtesan assignment. Let's go help a courtesan with her <coughs> assignment. <laughs> After we see what's in here. Ah. Fuck all. Now, was it this way? There's a doctor. I've seen the doctor. He was very helpful in explaining Dogecoin to me. The money and your life? Must be getting close. What? Who are these people? No, don't even try it. My sword was already swinging at him. Yet... When he threw the dust, the dirt... And I got blinded, somehow my sword also went ethereal. <laughs> it is an... <laughs> it is the ancient way. Using random... Tiny particles of dirt to block sword attacks. If you know this noble art. Hello. Have I not got any notoriety for this? I also love how I'm supposed to. <laughs> They've told me to say hello. Don't let the Borgia know that I'm still alive. I guess that's why my notoriety won't go up, because it doesn't make sense. Despite everything I've been doing, left like a hundred dead bodies in the streets. He struggles to gain Borgia favor and must prove himself leader of the courtesans. Humiliate him in public and he loses the support of the Borgia. We will not hear from him again. Halt! Halt! Stop. Stop him before he beats up the quarters, and how does that gain him favor? Anyway, hold, 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 hold on. This guy wants to take. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm so confused. The Madonna, who was killed by the Borgia, 
acting no, by mercenaries acting on behalf of the Borgia, but you know, killed by the Borgia. <laughs> because she was somewhat allied to the assassins, okay. The Borgia now want to install someone in the brothel that's loyal to them. Maybe it, uh... Ah, oh, whatever. I'm tired. I as many tires. Beat him up. But I'm just gonna go punch this guy and suddenly the Borgia are gonna lose interest in this hey, vital board brothel of influence. Borgel. If they owned a brothel, would it be called a Borgel? Ow. Screws! Screws! Hello! Kick him! There we go. And how does speeding up a courtesan earn him favour with the Borgias? In public? This man is a worthless liar. The courtesans of Roma will never answer to him. That made n I. Mm. Ooh, what's this? Broken heart. Christina. Mm, I don't think it will bother with the Christina missions. Copernico? The fuck is Copernico? I know of a Copernicus. Who is Copernico? Uh, let's find out. Oops. Room global economy. Oh, right, this is that investing thing. Eh, uh, I have no idea what I'm fucking doing. <laughs> let's just do another story. Oh, look, I'm back here. Oh, I can buy this place? How much? Oh. Oh yeah, they'll so be able to reach this place in time. Let's just do a story mission. I'm, I'm lost. Hello. I need the guy I just beat up. Do I need to teach you another lesson? I figured. <laughs> I am a genius. I have figured out a way of pushing yourself. You'd think it wouldn't be possible. I mean, I pull myself all the time, but pushing myself is a new one. Ooh, a tailor. I wonder what interesting colours we can buy. What the fuck? Really? They're still using the same voice lines for... And a painter as well. Where is it? Where is this tailor? Oh, can I buy it? 800. Simple payment. Wow, it went from like 32 to over 300. 
You can invest in, okay, now it's going to explain to me. You can invest in shops to earn greater profit with your next income collection. But it's only a one-time thing. You will also earn shop quest items if you invest enough money. Reminder to invest in a shop, you must talk to its owner and select it. But it's a one-time thing, right? It's just, it doesn't... Uh, okay, let's just see. Let's just... Sure. And let's see what happens. Okay. No harm in browsing. Ciao. Okay, let's go to the Rome Economic na Map. Nap. <laughs> the Rome Economic Nap. I'd like to take a Rome Economic Nap right now. Where is it? Oh, sorry. It has a square around it, I suppose I'm investing in it. No, so. So is it permanent? Does it just increase? What? I don't get it! <laughs> eh. Okay, let's see what we got. Roman stone? Eh. Venetian azure? No. Venetian wine? That's not bad. Quarantine Scarlet, that's bad. That one's cool. Hmm. Let's just. What about capes? Assassin White, Roman Stone, Venetian Azure, Venetian Wine. It's the same thing. Okay. Smart choice. Treasure maps and paintings. Meh, nah, fuck it. Let's just do what I do. Assassining. How did you see me through the wall? I hadn't made it over yet. Maybe you just heard something. That would be smart. Am I dreaming this? I don't know. Are you dreaming this? Would you like me to punch you in the face and find out? Ooh, a blacksmith. What about that? Maybe there's something to buy from a blacksmith. Oh, that is impressive. Many impressives. You fell from the sky. I'm so proud of you, son. Suppose I'll repair. Suppose I'll repair. Crossbow. Yep, cannot afford that. Not investing. Ah, uh, let's. Oops. Now, that'll be the rest of my money. You can't buy no armor? Can't buy shoes. Okay. Guess we will have to pick up our bank money at some point. It's probably, uh, how you say, uh, in the hideout. Oh, turns out that's exactly how you say that. Funny that.
What happened here? Is there some sort of historic reason for why these buildings all look like they were <laughs> the textures was, and models were stolen from Fallout? No! Too far! You went too far, it's you. Okay, where are we going now? To mercenaries, I assume? To rob someone's life savings, I assume? And their life savings of Red Jasper. What is Red Jasper? Actually, good to go. Do I need to call my horse? Yeah. Yeah, it came out from behind the tree. It's like um, ah, uh, whatever. I'm really tired today. Might have to be a short one. Hey, hey! Can I buy this? Can I have your number? No, it probably comes with the. It probably comes with the mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> comes three when you buy all the mercenaries. Surprised to see you. Now it's the thief's girl. Why have you appeared at my door? Wait, I know the answer. You always do. You want to put my spies to work? Then join me. In aiding Machiavelli? No, thank you. That man is a traitor to our order. A serious allegation uh, coming from a thief. Why would you not help that Sierra, though? Proof. He's not. He was an ambassador to the papal court and traveled as a personal guest of Cesare himself. I also know he abandoned you right before the villa attack. Machiavelli may not please all tastes, but he is an assassin. Not a traitor. I am not convinced. Uh, he is meeting someone in the Trastevere right now. Care to accompany me? I will follow. Where'd my husker? Oh, see, it was a two. <laughs> it was a two-minute conversation. You didn't have to leave, but I'll uh, I'll forgive you for <laughs> showing your worth over that man. Can a horse tipos? Uh, probably break a hip or two, but yeah, yeah! probably. Yeah! Someone please make this model tipos. Oh, is there a bridge? Ah, there's no point. Time to drown, horse. Here. Nope. Are well, you afraid of drowning? Weird. It's my kink. <laughs> That's how I get all the ladies wet. how I take their breath away. <laughs> what do you make of that? I make two people having a gay date. Passing love notes in class. They are going to shoot him. I will kill these. Go, get the others. You won't get away. Yeah. But what? 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 Hold on. 
Hold on. God, I wish you could instant replay on Twitch. Is someone up again? What the f <laughs> Whoa! Ezio, I never knew you had it in you. Oh god, it's Assassin's Creed 1 again, except that was even more brilliant. Can I fucking do that again? Let's just... Oh, I have to get on a... No, I have to... First stop auto-targeting. Now hold on! Oh, I did that. There's something more important happening. I had to figure out why God hated this guy. Fuck this man in particular. Okay, so if we can do it again. Coming up. Coming up. Why won't you get up now? There we go. Oh. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. No mercy for you. <laughs> I see him. Damn. This is just. Whoa. <laughs> hey, my sexy man. You don't want to stay for the for the show God is putting on for us here. No, that's okay. Don't worry. Thanks for the luck. Do you want to, like, come up and kill the guy who's shooting at you, mate? No? Would that be too much work? Self-preservation self is too much work. I agree. Well, I'm gonna stop eating. Quick, hide from the guards. I cannot. They are going to kill me. Pay attention. Do what I do. Let's do it. Blend with the crowd. Which crowd? It's this way. How do you know there happens to be a crowd over here? There's, there's a crowd right here. There is a war going on for their benefit. Well, this over one's then. Just isn't... Keep up, mate. Keep up, kid. Oh, you're a slow one. What's going on there? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> a beautiful moment we are sharing here. <laughs> beautiful. Just beautiful. Hold on, let me get in a moving group. Hello, I am one of you now, ladies. Just like this guy. You're going the wrong way. I want that group. Reduce distance to- He's literally right there! What is he, a child? If you move five feet away, he starts crying? Do this because people just aren't acting like like people. Hold on, let me in. Let me in. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> what? I can't blend in with a crowd if they're just fucking orgying each other right there in the street. You don't really blend in. At an orgy. Or maybe you do. I, I wouldn't have experience. I promise. What about you? Can I buy you for something? New outfit unlocked. Ah, 
Oh yes, we've got to try all the uh, older. Special we must awaken the people. Hang on. Stoke their anger and focus now. their frustration. Okay, let's see if it's actually possible this time to. Okay, okay, let me in. Let me in. There we go. Let me in. Damn it, bums! If you don't want to get a job, at least get out of my fucking way. Well, I tried to escort a wanted criminal past you. Alright, this will do, folks. Where am I taking him? Where am I taking this lad? Stay. Claudio! Molte grazie, Messeri. Keep out of sight for a while. Desi? The guards are looking for you. I see they have posters up. Then rip them down. You can pay the heralds a few florins to silence them. Or I can eliminate witnesses. <laughs> you know how to disappear. <laughs> I like how they just straight up say it this time. In uh, AC2, they tried to claim they were false witnesses, so you still weren't killing innocent people. But this time, it's just like, oh, yeah, I can kill people who see me do shit. Which at this point, considering how I've been playing and how most people play this game, is, uh, you know, just all of Rome. <laughs> Kill an official. And now they try to claim it's an official. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I believe it. You'd be soft. I bet it's not the first time you've asked. You've had witnesses eliminated. You're anything like Blizzard Activision at the moment. Rome Global Economy Bronze Medal. I spent eight hundred dollars. How do I already have a bronze? This is. It's like a Olymp Olympics for the middle class. I bought a new TV today. Do I get a bronze medal? For stimulating the economy during this pandemic. Oh, hey, horsey. You're not my horse, but I'll take you. Sure, why not? I'm gonna ride every horse like this now. Just awkwardly. <laughs> no, come back. I need you. But don't leave me, horse. I need you. My life is meaningless without you. This has been. Okay. That's because it's been day, but oh well. We saw, but you have nothing to fear from Machiavelli. Night and day can be hard I to tell sure apart. I have you to thank for saving Claudio's life. If you believe Machiavelli remains loyal to the order, I trust you. So, what of the thieves? We had plans to repair this old building, but now that you and I are working together, I would like to know what you think. We need to make sure the Borgia stay away. Perhaps it could look like an inn. No, oh, yeah, yes. Borgia would never visit an inn. Like that idea. Then I will make it so. You realize we're gonna have to kill this architect afterwards, right? More witnesses. And again, another. Another random building in the city that's just had a new owner come in and renovate it. Splashing around a lot of money. 
and the border aren't going to be concerned at all. Welcome, and not just a small renovation, look at this place, it had a fucking tower. I thought it was supposed to be an inn. No one will ever suspect its real purpose. <laughs> Yet it looks so shitty on the inside. I'm confused. Visit me whenever you like. There might be objectives to pursue that will help our cause in the city. I see you thieves compete against each other. You can participate. And in you just mission. leave that out in the Perhaps weapon. you will show them a thing or two. Ah, yes, I forgot. We also have gambling. Ooh. It is a great Polka? source of income, especially since we ensure that the Borgia guards always lose. One last thing. I need your spies to find the apple. It has been taken from me. We are searching the city for it already. <laughs> Molto bene. Come to Isola Tiberina with your findings. I shall. I'm not gambling. Let's gamble. You feeling lucky, amigo? I'll kill you all if I'm not. Alright. Hazard game rules. First roll. Rolling the throw in 7 or 11. Rolling the throw wins the game with a payout of 1 to 2.2. Weirdly specific. Rolling the throw out, 2, 3, or 12, loses the game in your stake. Roll anything else and the number thrown becomes the chance. Roll again for the chance roll. Okay. Rolling the chance wins the game with a payout that changes depending on what the chance is. Rolling 7 loses the game. And your stake. Keep rolling until. So I've got a. All right, all right, all right, okay. So if I instantly roll seven or eleven, I win. If I instantly roll two, three, or twelve, I instantly lose. If I roll anything else, that becomes. So if I roll like a six, I then have to roll a six again without rolling a seven. Oh, and different payouts depending on. I guess the likelihood of... Okay, okay, okay. Okay. No, I get this. Alright, alright, alright. Winning roll. Let's wager... We had to start with 150. Let's up the ante, yes? Eight. Okay, so I've got to roll the eight again. And they want me to up. So, alright. So I get back 2.5 of whatever I put down. Hmm. Why does it start at. Can I just input? Do I seriously have to. Can I just type in 50? No? Seriously? I have to. Oh fuck you! Next time. All right. It's... Why does it go up at one at a time? Let me just type in a number. Nine. Care to sweeten the pot, amigo? Yes, I do. Oh, one to three. That's yeah, one to three. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking up that. What's match wager? No. Seriously, let me type in. Why is... And it won't let me hold down to go faster. Seriously? So I have to actually do this. No, there's gonna be another way. What? Eh, this is like jerking off. Or furiously. Furiously. <laughs> Trying to get my wager down. Brr. And this guy's just staring at me like, what the fuck are you doing? Ezio, please do not jerk off onto the dice. We all hold this. Just just roll. Ezio? Ezio, do you hear me? Ezio! Uh, does anyone know a doctor?
Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's just lose all our money or something. Fuck it, let's just put in all our money. Ben. Yeah, <laughs> see? <laughs> Alright, let's play again. Start with a wager of... Can I just fucking... <laughs> it really punishes you for playing a high stakes game. Not because you have to lose your money, but not because you may lose your money. Ugh. English. English. Not because you may lose your money, but because you've got to sit here for three days just going. Alright, we'll go with 300. Is there no way to increase it at like 10 at a time at least? Whatever. Ten. Cool. Seems to come up a bit. 1.35. Max wager. <laughs> See? Let's do this again, actually. Is that worth 150? Sweet in the pot, amigo. Six, one to two point two five. Yeah, I would care. Let's do this. Oh, the max you can do is. Yeah. Start with one hundred and fifty, just to see the odds. See, that's fine. Let's go, let's go again. Go again, I'm not addicted. Honey, I swear I'm not addicted. Let's up the ante, yes? Five? Yes, let's up the ante. Five is a good one. One to three, yep. The most you can actually put in is... I want to build in all my money. Just... Let's up the ante, yes? Ah, oh, so... Oh, no. Oh, but every time I... Okay, come on, baby. Oh, that means I can put even more in. Oh, this is going to become a real high stakes game. Come on. <laughs> this is going to bite me in my ass, but let's do it again. <laughs> Six. Let's up the ante, yes? Yes, let's up the ante. I just... <laughs> Who needs to do all this investment and stuff when this is just... Care to sweeten the pot, amigo? I do care to sweeten the pot, amigo. 1.2.5 is... Oh well, that'll do. Well, we got... 8? Oof. Really? Really sort of edging around here. Come on. Oh well. That's okay, I was expecting that at some point. It had to happen. Come on, baby. You have to sweeten the pot, amigo. Yes, I do You know me you know this I'm just I'm just gonna keep going till I get a hundred thousand or I have literally nothing. Okay, a little too soon for my tastes. Let's go. Okay, 1.2 that one to 2.5. Can I not get a, that one higher? It's one to 3.5, come on. Care to sweeten the pot, amigo? I do care. I care very much. For once in my life. This is all I care about now. Let's oh. up the ante, yes? Yes, let's up the ante. 
Khajiit will play. Khajiit will up ante if you have the coin. Fuck. Ah, oh, it's that trap of gambling. You get a couple of wins and then the game. <laughs> and then you start losing. Oh well, let's just go from the beginning. Fuck you! That was a dick move. Fuck you, game. Oh, we get this. One to two point. Okay. Okay, cool. One point. If we can get this, we can make our money back. Another guy here. Six. That's cool. That ups the ante. Are people really watching this? This must be so boring to watch. It'd be tense to play, but boring to fucking watch. Just watching a guy roll his dice over and over again. Alright. I'm feeling this one. Let's do this. I hate you. I hate you so much! <laughs> no! I refuse! I refuse. I don't have a problem! I just refuse. I will take that. Oh, bullshit. fuck. I mean, I won, but fuck, that was. Uh, Alright. Up the ante. <laughs> Come on, I was like. <laughs> I was almost a millionaire before, now I've got 5,000 bucks in the bank. No, oh, well, that's more than most. Come on. It's all or nothing now. Girl, so sweet in the pot, amigo. Wish I could. 2.5. Let's go. Give me a six, baby. Let's up the ante, yes? Wish I could, but you know. <laughs> I'm getting rickrolled here. Come on, baby. Six. Care to sweeten the pot, amigo? It's funny how it always sort of sticks around that sort of mid area. Like, I haven't seen an 11 or a 12 come up at all. Have we seen a 2 come up, like, once? I mean, I guess that's statistically most likely, but obviously. I love money! <laughs> I love money! Excuse me, I will be right back. I just have to, uh, sort out some arrangements. Hold on. I have to leave. Don't worry. Don't worry, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's fine. Oh, is this the bank? Oh, let's just take out my money. <laughs> Let's go into my life savings to take out my money. <laughs> investments. Can I see my investments? No, this is an actual another place you can invest. How much did I have in savings? <laughs> I don't have a problem! <laughs> yeah, still better than Shenmue, though. That was a... Awful experience. Lucky, amigo. Well, all right. Now my trick this time is to get lucky. Max wager. Five. Cool. One to three. One to three. This could be our chance to come back. I hate you so much. Why are you doing this to me? Why you do this to me, game? Why you do this to me? Hold on. A man who own <laughs> a man who has nothing has nothing to lose. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh look, the architect's still here. There 
we go. That's enough. <laughs> Taxpayer's money. Ezio will run Rome with so much dignity and economic morality. <laughs> Let's do this. I have more money. It is definitely my money. Yeah, I'll take a roll. Also, I'll roll the dice. Okay, what we got? <laughs> Fuck! God damn! <laughs> this is just fucking with me now. All done! I need to up the tax rate again. <laughs> Ah, uh, you lovely people look like you have plenty of money to give me. Are these people? Why are they coming after me? Oh, horsey, let's rub the horse. Nope, he's running away. He knows what's up. Ah, oh, they didn't have any money. I've already robbed them. Hold on. Come on. There we go. I've done that challenge. <laughs> No one has work. No one has money. Let's thieve the thieves. You cannot thieve the thieves. Okay. Alright, well let's actually see what I get for doing that challenge. <laughs> Look at this <laughs> crying. <laughs> All our money's gone. <laughs> to some random guy in a beanie sitting in this ta this inn. Okay, do I get anything for completing that challenge? Or do I have to do them all? I don't know. For next unranked. Get a rank. What does the rank give you? I don't know. It does not know. What is this? Ezio. You have need of my assistance. Oh, it's just stats. The thieves in Roma are young. Skilled, but young. Prone to rivalries. Another gang. The Cento Occhi. Cesare Borgia's bootlickers. They cause us significant trouble. Where can I find them? My thieves will show you. Okay. Don't make don't mind the mukbang stream. I got hungry. <laughs> you feeling lucky, amico? It seems like a perfect opportunity to tell my story. So uh, next wager. So basically as it's uh, no secret that I've been having health problems lately. Yeah, I was gone for two fucking months. And outright said I'm having health problems. So... <laughs> as part of my... Recovery... I had... Uh, to deal with some... Muscle damage and stuff like that. And other symptoms. <laughs> hey! Hey, it's the pity party money. Let's play again. I'll work my way back up. Yeah, so... Sweet in the pot, amigo. As part of treatment for that, I, um... Booked in... A massage. First time, ever. Oh, actually, no, I've had time massages in Thailand, but first time going to a... Uh. Shit. <laughs> first time going to a... To a less sketchy place here in a f 
first world country to get a Western massage. And I, I booked that several weeks ago, but then lockdown happened here. And I had to postpone it, and then lockdown got extended, so I had to postpone it again. Then lockdown got extended, so I had to postpone it again. <laughs> and we finally came out of lockdown earlier this week, so I didn't have to postpone it any longer. So I go, I went, and because everything else opened up, I thought, you know what? Well, you know, I'll have a treat myself day. I'll make a day of it. I'll do some other fun things. So I. Uh, I also bought tickets to go see Black Widow just after and made a booking for a restaurant that night that I went to with just my parents, but yeah. Ooh, money. I got the money. I have the money! I stop, I'll stop losing eventually. It has to happen. It has to happen. It has to. My kids can't eat. Hey, buddy. How you doing? How are my kids? Oh, they're fine. <laughs> I want to describe my experiences now. Best wager. <laughs> He's with me. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Next wager. Hey! Lucky's with me. Though I don't mind a chance roll, you know, that would be cool too. Alright. Okay, cool. Chance roll. Let's do this. Let's do this properly. Oh, dog's barking outside. Uh, max wager. Oh, I don't have any more. That's right. It's a chance roll. So I turn up. At the place. The place is just... The place is just in a, a shopping centre, right? It's not its own building or anything. It's renting. It's a small place. Let's up the ante, yes? Yes, let's up the ante with my no other money. Stop talking, sir. Stop it. What we got? What we got? I hate you so much! That is seven key... Oh, seven's the most common number on a pair of dice, but still feel like it would <laughs> something else would come up eventually. Wow, I'm gonna have to keep going further and further to find people with money. Usually when rampant corruption holds sway in a chita, there are ways to fall. Man, I didn't actually rob anything from you. You don't have anything on you to rob. Ooh, a thief! Yes! Perfect. Come here. Too bad! Oh, it's a witness, not a thief. I just created more witnesses, but whatever. Come on, someone's got to have money. Alright, where was I? Rob the architect! No. <laughs> That's where I was at. <laughs> so I went into this uh, massage place and I robbed the architect. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, perfect. So I walk in. Small place. And it's a busy fucking day at the shopping centre, right? Because, you know, first week out of lockdown, I went on a Saturday. Everybody's fucking gone there. But I had a fucking booking. And I had a booking for a 17 minute long whole body oil massage. 
Care for a roll? No, oh, I care for a roll. Where are we rolling? I walk in. And we... If anyone out of, out of Australia, we have um, QR codes placed at every... Remember when I had like eighty thousand dollars <laughs> from this? Do you remember that? That was a fun time. It's less fun now, <laughs> but I'm gonna keep doing it anyway because I won't learn my lesson. I'm too tired to come up with any real content. What's going on here? Money being stolen is what's going on here. Let's rob the priest. Who was performing miracles or something? I don't know. Oops, sorry. Yes, yeah, so we have the QR code that you've got to. You've got. To, you're supposed to scan in at every location you visit, so that contact traces can have a record of where you've been and easily um, highlight hotspots for in case you get COVID. So I walk in and there's just yeah, one guy just sort of sitting around, not at the desk or anything. He's just sort of sitting off to the side, and I walk up. And he gets up and starts walking towards me, and I'm like, Appointment for Quarren. And I start to, you know, do the QR code check in. Okay, cool, 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 cool. One to three, one to three. We got this, we got this. We got this, lads. I love money. What the fuck is going on? Can, is it just programmed to go? No more for you. No more. Seven every time. Seven, 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 seven. There are other numbers on a uh, pair of die than seven. I don't care how I have combatives. Can I steal from a horse? No. Someone riding a horse, rather. Horse. <laughs> I don't think the horse has much of an income. How much taxes do horses have to pay? What income bracket are they in usually? And uh, and the QR code is awkwardly taped over the like the desk is rather than having corners, it's curved. I'll get that witness later. Well, actually, I could kill him and rob his body. <laughs> This is my normal, my normal thinking about these things. I can just kill him and rob his body. Solution to my problems. Hi there. Wow, that's much more effective. And yeah, the desk is just sort of curved rather than edged. And for some reason they stuck the QR code on that curve, and I'm there trying to get my phone to pick up the QR code because it's so. Because it's, um. warped by being. Play with me, friend. The, uh. the QR code doesn't work. And this guy, even though I've told him appointment for Quarren, he's just standing next to me, staring at me, not saying a fucking word. I'm like, oh, maybe he didn't hear me. I said. Uh, well, again, said, appointment for Quarren, as I'm trying to do the QR code. And he still doesn't say anything, he just stands there staring at me like, Oh good, I'm going right. to relax here, this is this is a good start. I came here to chill out, and so far some guy's just gotten in my face, said nothing, and stared at me. <laughs> I mean, maybe that works to relax some people, personally. It's not a... It's not of great benefit. <laughs> Uh, 
But eventually, I knew Lucky's from booking you. that um, they show you who you on the booking system online. They show you the name of um who's going to be doing your appointment, your massage. Oh, I have one. Neat. Cool. Cool. To sweeten the pot, amigo. Why don't you sweeten my pot, asshole? Lace it in sugar. My cooking pot. Here we go, boys! Now let's lose it all this turn. <laughs> Probably. Now we got eight again. Interesting. What's going on with these eights? Anyway, the I knew from the name and actually just tells you that my massage therapist was going to be female. And so, to in the pot, amigo. and so this lady comes running out from the back, was like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh god, I can't believe I've been doxxed two streams in a row and I can't believe I did th this time. And I was doing so well saying Quarren. Feck. <laughs> Feckity feck feck. Anyway, we'll move on. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Um, what was that? So she comes out running and says, Quarren? And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm Quarren. I'm still trying to do the QR code and it's not working. She's like, oh, we have another one over here on this pillar. Do that, and that works. Anyway. So immediately, this has just been nothing but an awkward experience. QR codes don't work, some guy's just standing there staring at me. And I know he's an employee, he's not just like someone. I'm not trying to convince some random customer that they should be doing my appointment. He's got the set, he's got the outfit on. <laughs> That'd be interesting, walking in. So. I love money! Ah, right. Suck it. I'm done here. Do something else. <laughs> it's just, just going to keep doing that. Um, what's this? Is that a Thieves Guild? What's that? What is that? Where is it? That's that. Oh, there's a thing here I could use to see. And I saw a new symbol. What's this? Restored memory. I have no idea. Let's do the viewpoint there. Oh yes, I'll renovate you of my now. <laughs> Zero dollars. <laughs> yeah, so already this is an awkward experience. Anyway, so I uh, head into the little massage room. The lady, who I can barely understand her accent, very, very strong accent. I can make out like every fifth word. Pulls out a pulls out a box, you know, it's like uh Okay, put your clothes in here. And I start getting undressed. And I, you know, I've never other than the time massage in which I was and I was allowed to keep all as much clothes as I wanted on when I had the time massage. Didn't have to take any clothes off, so I wasn't actually sure how naked you're supposed to get for a massage. Turns out, pretty naked. I... I knew at least you'd have to take your shirt off, because, you know, you've got to get to the back and shoulders easily enough, and if it's an oil massage especially, don't want to be getting oil on your clothes, but... I just... I wasn't... I'm helping you by taking your money away. Now you can starve and you'll have problems no more. <laughs> I'm such a generous soul. I've, I've dealt with all their problems. Well, you know, they'll be dealt with in a couple of days when they dehydrate. 
Um, yes, I'm not sure. So I took my shirt off. But I left my pants on. And she comes by, she knocks the door, like, are you ready? I'm like, uh, I think so. She comes in, she takes one, and she's like, you've got to take your pants off. <laughs> take your pants off and lie down. I'm like, oh, okay, oh, Jesus. <clears throat> she's an assertive lady. Okay, she knows what she wants. <laughs> anyway, she leaves again, and I'm like, all right, all right. I take my pants off. You don't have to take your underwear off, thankfully. Although, as it'll turn out, you may as well. <laughs> but, um, we'll get to that. I always kind of really understand that IT crowd episode now, more than I used to. Wait, is there an easier way to get around this? Yeah. You're a restricted area, nerd. Speaking of restricted areas, let's continue with the story. <laughs> yeah, if you can't tell how this is going. Maybe this is normal for people who've had massages, but as a f I think it's interesting to see it here a first the perspective of a first timer. So yeah, I, and sh yeah, so I take off my pants and I the towel's already on the thing, and I'm like, all right, I'll I'll rope up and lie down. <laughs> so I do that, and she. Yeah, she comes by and knocks again. Are you ready? I'm like, yeah, I'm ready this time. Sorry, it's my first time. She's like, yeah, okay, that's fine, whatever. Stupid idiot. <laughs> she doesn't actually say that, but I get the feeling that's what she thinks about me now. After this is gonna be a long story. Um... <laughs> so, get up. Do I need the? Toss a dwarf and call me donut. Yep. Yeah, oh no, I got nothing. Whatever. Ooh, my stomach. Let me eat something. I think you might have to have the climbing glove to do this. That, yeah, so she comes in, and again, immediately, I've done something fucking wrong. Turns out, you're not supposed to rope yourself. It's, which I guess this one makes sense, I was just, you know, I was nervous. It was my first time, I was so nervous. I don't care what you have to say about things. I don't care what you have to say about things. What do people think I care about what they have to say about things? Oh look, I made money. <laughs> I shall make more money. It will happen. Um... Well, why is this whole area restricted? Fine, this is just gonna get in the way. Let's do this. This is a difficulty two. Difficulty two. Alright. Oh yeah, let's take off a poster down in this fortress where I'm not supposed to be. This will help my notoriety, sure. Yeah, so yeah, you're not supposed to rub yourself. You're supposed to lie down and you and the towel just gets put over you. You don't wrap it around yourself. Why are these people allowed to be in a restricted area? I don't care if you would speak with me. Speak to a priest or a therapist or something. I'm losing him. Is there a... Hmm. Is there a group I can blend in with? Not really. Not really. Oh, the tail's over there anyway. Why am I bothering up here? Ah, oh, that's why it's difficulty too. Look at that. Look at that. 
Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Alright. Yeah, so you yeah. Don't wrap yourself. Lesson to anyone who wants to get a massage. You've just got to be comfortable with being basically as naked as possible. Um, wait, what? But it's it's a thing I've got to do. Maybe, oh. maybe it's part of this quest. So maybe that's why it's here. Anyway, so she comes in, I'm lying there, she readjusts the pillow, then she sees what fucking stupid thing I've done with the town. She starts space. She doesn't ask, she doesn't say a word or anything. She literally just comes up, or walks around back, and starts pulling the towel off me. I'm like, fucking A! <laughs> I did not know this was how this was gonna go. Immediately, I'm already being stripped of what little covering I had. So yeah, she basically just gets full view of every customer that comes by, I suppose. Um, I wonder how much a masseuse gets paid, because you see some bad bodies at some point. Like, mine ain't great, but at least I was kind enough to make it as comfortable as possible for both of us. A jar of leeches. My favorite. Thanks, Santa Claus. Look another one. Can we get another jar of leeches? What have they been being fed out here? More red jasper too, whatever that is. Yay. What's the point of this if I can't get up from here? Oh, maybe up here. No! <sighs> well, again, I'm just gonna make a run for it. If this ain't a metaphor for my life, then, uh... Well, there's just no comparison to be made. That is a metaphor for my life. Alright. Warning restrict you don't say Maybe that's why people are trying to kill me right now. Hold on. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this story in time. I keep getting distracted. Oh, it's over there, right? Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I actually didn't mean to steal money this time. That is another first for me. Bartolomeo? Come here, you little shit. Editore! Come in, come in! I'll kill you if you don't. <laughs> Bartolomeo. Wait here. You have to meet my wife. Fantasilea! Fantasilea! Where is she? Did you check behind the table? Hm. Ah, he ain't taking any mushroom. Lieta di conoscervi. Charmed. Truly. Now, we talk about war. How was the fight against the French? Bene. My men are holding their own. Machiavelli seemed to think things were more difficult. You know Machiavelli. Abbiamo bisogno del vostro aiuto. Scusatemi. 
Throw me Bianca. Ezio, let me get straight to the point. The fight is not going well. We have been attacked on both sides. Borgia on one, French on the other. But know this. The Borgia position is weak. If you can defeat them, we can concentrate our forces on the French front. I think I know a way to help. Thank you for disclosing this to me, Madonna Dalviano. It is the least a wife can do to help her husband. <laughs> the least a wife can do is just get another man to fix all our problems. Okay. What the fuck? I know. Someone stop their leader before he gets to the tower! Okay! No, 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 no! Bastard! That's it, now I can just go over there and... <laughs> okay. Just find our way in there. I'm sick of this. Ooh, can I do that over the bridge? That would be fun. Jeez, he's in heavy army, huh? Heavy armor. How are you throwing him? Oh, shit. By the way, story ain't finished. I'm just really distracted. Um, if I ignite this tower, does it automatically count as doing the viewpoint? See, so many questions have to be asked. You have to ask yourself so many questions when you get molested by a... <laughs> we'll get there. All right. Alright, so yeah, so she... Yeah, she full-on peeks me. When she's moving the tail around to get into the place it's supposed to be. Oh, well, she's got to deal with that all the time, I suppose. I'm trying my best. <laughs> anyway, she starts the massage. When the tail is just sort of situated... Horizontally over my backside. And at first it's going, it's going just fine. It's not the best, but it was kind of a disappointment overall, but... So it was just missing something, I don't know what, but it was. Let's find out if this does both. to return to them again. Now, like I said, there was one man in there earlier wearing the outfit and then there was this lady. So, I mean, they didn't have a dedicated receptionist, which is just bullshit. Because that means this lady who was doing my massage, whenever someone would ring the bell for service, would have to go out and tell them to come back later and maybe get into like some sort of small conversation about them. Like, oh, we're busy or whatever. Yeah, what would you want? Yeah, you can put in a booking and all that. And that was taking up my time. And that's just bullshit. I'm paying so you can go talk to other customers. What? No. Ezio, we sent those luridi codardi running for the hills. Yes, we did. Now that the Pope's dogs have fled, I will be able to draw more men to the fight. But first I want to reinforce our barracks. Who will take care of this? I'm no good with these things. You are the educated one. You approve the plans. Va bene. But in return, I need to know Cesare and Rodrigo's every move. 
and your men keep track of them for me. Of course. Oh, God damn it, it's the worst thing at the architects. I don't even need to say this one's not subtle. They're in a direct conflict with this place. Pleasure was all mine. Isn't she a thing of beauty? Very impressive. More men join us every day. It has become very competitive, which is just the way I like it. As you can see, this board shows the ranks of our top warriors. Prove your skills, and you will move up the list. <laughs> Shouldn't I already be at the top? Jan's fighting downstairs. If you're looking to show off, we also have fights. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got money on this match. Money, you say? Okay. Now I'm in. Where is Bartolomeo? At the fight downstairs. He has such an aggressive view of the world. However, strategy is equally important. Take these carrier pigeons, for example. Each one sent from Machiavelli bears the name of an important Templar in Roma. Eliminate them, and you will have more of an impact than a battle ever could. Thank you, Madonna. Can you ask Bartolomeo to come see me at Isola Tiberina for the report about Cesare and Rodrigo's whereabouts? He will be there. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the fight. Madonna. Hey lady, you wanna fight? Sent word. Yes. The pigeons deliver the names of key papal agents. The Jubilee has brought pilgrims to Roma, their money taken by the church in exchange for absolution. Threats of damnation terrorize those reluctant to pay. The agents' collections go directly to Cesare. I will make money the least of their worries. Anyway, the other thing during this place, this massage was that there is no fucking point for the Tao. Show my men what you can do. Okay. Hey, Max. Well, this goes this goes up by more than one. And it should be fucking easy. Come on, can I just fucking? Oh, I can pull. Why do you have to hold your mouse? At... What? This didn't work on the other one. What the fuck? Okay. And why isn't there a max bet button on it? What the fuck? Who designs these UIs? Oh, fuck, it's got to be in a time limit. Didn't know that. There we go. Got my money back. Plus one hundred dollars. And I can just do it again and make another one hundred dollars. Come on, stop blocking. There we go. Whatever. Let's move on. That's not as interesting. Alright, so, yeah. Suffice to say, basically, that during this time... Not only did she just basically move the towel wherever she wanted... <laughs> me think. But the... Meaning that towel really isn't to cover you up. It's, it's for some other fucking reason. Who fucking knows what. Because... Not only did this lady just 
pull it down and include my fucking underwear in the process. <laughs> she, let's be honest, she got a few full fucking view of my ass. There's, there's no fucking denying that. That, that happened. The towel meant nothing. <laughs> fucking underwear meant nothing. So that's um, that's that's interesting. She would just, she had no fucking problem with touching it either. Like, the back is one thing. Like you've got the t kind of got the tail still there, and you pull down the tail, and maybe your underwear comes off of it. But then she does the legs, and she's pulling the tail. She's got the tail still on your back, and she's just hiking up the the legs of your underwear. If you're wearing, you know, bolt like um. Reefs like I do. <laughs> so, so she's seeing all my ass, and not only that, but for some reason a back massage and leg massage basically just includes an ass massage. So she's just grabbing my ass as well and smacking my ass when she does the weird slappy thing. I'm, I'm getting spanked. I came here to relax, and I'm getting fucking spanked. Um, I don't know if this is normal or not. This place is so sketchy. In general. Like I said, you know, she would take time out of my massage that I was paying for to talk to other customers, and then... And then at the end, even though I paid for a 70 minute massage, it, she ended it at 60 minutes. Including all the time that she spent talking to customers. So I was basically just sort of... Robbed. I was fucking molested and robbed. <laughs> in a way. Not that I want to fucking, uh, compare that to an actual molestation or anything, but it was weird. And I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> and overall, the whole thing was just kind of disappointing. The best thing about it was that they heated up the oil. They could have just put that on me. Forget about the whole muscle tension thing, just leave the hot oil on me for an hour and... Would have had the same fucking effect. Or better. So... <laughs> My treat myself day, I was so far been... Um... <laughs> I don't even know how to fucking explain it, it's like... I've treated myself to new experiences, I guess you can say. Never before have I been molested and robbed and disappointed in a massage. Or all, all the same time. And also had the most awkward interaction with people ever. Isn't that illegal? <laughs> my Whatever, I'm not really insecure about my body or anything. I'm a skinny fuck, I've got uh, fucking, uh, what's it called? Concave Sturdo. I've got weird shit. <laughs> and, um, excuse me. But it doesn't end there, right? Not only am I, like, at this point, like, ah, oh, this isn't really good. I mean, the the time still passed really quickly. I was still, like, you know, enjoy it wasn't a great massage. It was disappointing, but I still just, you know, enjoyed what I could, and I don't think 60 minutes, or probably even 70 minutes, is actually long enough for a massage. I think you need like a fucking 3 hour experience. Probably cost a lot, but... You know, that 60 minutes felt like 15 minutes. When she wasn't talking to other fucking customers. What is going on? Oh. Wait. What am I supposed to be doing? Am I going to... I'm probably going to... The island or something, aren't I? Can't interact with this. Is this the entrance? Okay. But it didn't end there. Machiavelli, we must talk. I know, right? Yes, it didn't end there. I secured something of great worth from one of my contacts. 
We now have the names of several Templar agents Cesare has recruited to terrorize Roma. How do I find them? I can give you a general location. I suggest looking for signs of distress nearby. Perhaps you will uncover citizens who can point you in the right direction. My contact will continue searching for more names. This information came from a city guard. Yes. How did you know? Lucky guess. Grazie. Claudia, Bartolomeo, and La Volpe are waiting for you inside. I can't imagine how you did it. Virtu, Machiavelli. I killed one person, burnt one tower, and... Virtu. Spied on you. <laughs> what have you discovered? That bastardo Cesare is in the Castel Sant'Angelo with the Pope. My spies tell me that the apple has been secreted to someone for a study. I am working on determining his identity. Caterina will be moved to the prison within the Castello next week. Bene. So the Castello it is. Roma will heal quickly with Cesare and Rodrigo gone. Only if the opportunity to assassinate them arises will I take it. Do not repeat your mistake in the vault. You must kill them now. I'm with Machiavelli, Ezio. We should not wait. Bartolomeo is right. They must pay for Mario's death. Do not worry. They will die. You have my word. Okay. Sir Ezio, I represent the combined resources of Bartolomeo del Viano, Claudio oh, I you were an architect. and La Volpe. Through do you... my associates Dude. spread across the city, you can channel your florins to any part of the underground you desire. You may have seen notices posted around Roma which allow you to purchase buildings. Income from your new tenants will be deposited with bookkeepers, as well as additional profit from renovations. Bookkeepers can be found throughout the city. Molto bene. Hardly knew that, but whatever. Oh, is this the end of the chapter? Neat. They're only up to chapter three. <laughs> Anyway, I get dressed again and I walk out. Oh, the other thing is, not only did she stop and talk to other customers that would come in, but she would also occasionally talk to, try to talk to me about things. And it's okay if she's just asking, "Oh, is this the right amount of pressure, or whatever?" But as you also, I think she. I couldn't understand because of her accent, but I'm thinking in hindsight now that she was asking me if I live around here, and I'm just like... Yeah, I couldn't make it out of the time, so I think she gave up after that, but... Um... Okay. How much for this? 900. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't want my... It's like my hairdressers. I don't want my hairdressers talking to me, but that's just more of a general thing. I definitely don't want my masseuse talking to me because I'm trying to relax, zone out, you know. But not only that, but she was talking to the other guy, the other uh, person working there who was doing someone in the room over. Another time. And um. in Chinese or whatever and just like kind of shouting it too <laughs> and that's really bad that's really distracting you can't be shouting things in another language and oh, like you're massaging someone that's Ugh. and again this guy must be a mute or something because he didn't he didn't reply so it wasn't just a language barrier or something, he didn't reply to her either. I think that, that guy just does not open his fucking mouth for nothing.
I bet he eats by absorbing nutrients through his skin. <laughs> there you are. So I finish up. I get dressed. I get out. Go to the front desk to pay. And I pull out my credit card, just intending, you know, I've already I made a deposit when I made the booking. Using my own card, so I assume, you know, and you know, I didn't, I was just intending to just pay for it myself, right? Like any, anything else you fucking buy, any other, ah, uh, good or service you buy. But I get up there and I pull out my card, and she's like, Oh, no, 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 you... Give me your Medibank card. It's like, my Medi... It's... I'm not gonna be covered. It's just a massage. I bought, I bought it myself. And I'm like, oh, okay, maybe I misunderstood something. Maybe I am covered for it and I don't even know or something. So I get out my Medibank card and give it to her. And... <laughs> she puts it in. And then she turns back to me and really angrily states, You are not covered! I'm like... I know! That's why I gave you my... That's why I pulled out my card first, my debit card. I'm like, I'm like yeah, I'll just... I pulled it out again, like, yeah, I'm gonna pay for it. Like, oh, Jesus. Like, you asked! You were the one giving me hope! No one kneels as low as Lucrezia Borgia! Who put you up to this? Was it your brother or your father? Perhaps a bit of both? Perhaps at the same time? Chiudi la bocca! None speak ill of the Borgia! The same will happen to any who defy us! Good people of Roma! Stay strong! You will be free! Your time will come! I swear it! They are going to torture her. You are here for Cesare and Rodrigo. Caterina is a powerful ally. If we help her now while she is weak, she will aid us in return. Perhaps. But kill Cesare and Rodrigo first. Okay. Is there a group going in there by any chance? Yes, there is. Wait, why can't I? Okay. I couldn't blend in with the group for some reason. Why didn't I do a counter? <laughs> that guy was escaping with style. It's probably you didn't see any of that. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was my experience with a massage. Not a very relaxing experience, after all. I don't know, maybe it's just there, maybe I should try somewhere else, but... That was, that was my big thing for you yesterday, that was... Been looking forward to that for weeks, keeping, kept having to postpone it and everything. And it didn't even solve my muscle problems, I swear they only got worse afterwards. That is not what I meant, but it'll do. Forget the Pope, you only answer to me. Roma is the pillar that holds our entire enterprise aloft. She cannot waver, which means neither can you. What of Il Vaticano? That tired old man's club. Play along for now, but soon we will have no need of them. She's left us Roma. She'll be in good hands. 
But anyway. It's still my treat myself day though, right? And it's interesting, you know, first weekend out of lockdown, everywhere is fucking busy. And before my f the I go to see the film, I'm like, I decide to stop by a candy store by impulse. Like, yeah, why not? Uh, up here. And this candy store, and I usually go by, it's been there for years. I usually go by it. At most, you see one person in there. And even that's pretty, pretty rare. People usually don't visit this place at all. To, on this particular day, I guess everyone thought candy was like in fucking short supply or something. You had to basically... It was like traffic, you had to wait your turn to move up. How did you see that? Bullshit. But anyway, I got just a... It was actually called a movie mix. Movie lolly mix. Uh, where am I going? Up to my walls, aren't I? And I also got something that I'd never seen before. This is called... Fago. It's our big soft drink. 23 ounces, they advertise on the thing. Wow. It's definitely foreign because we don't use ounces, but okay. And it is cotton candy flavoured. And it's blue, and it's decent. It's just decent. That's what I've been drinking this entire stream. What I love about it, this Fago drink, is it has the underneath the name it says Delicious, which is, you know, it's a usual fucking catchphrase. Something that wants to be a whimsical candy product. It's delicious. Like you could You could have this with the D. Fago and D. An amazing comp 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 combination. Conversation. <laughs> yes, I talk to my D when I eat it. Um, so yeah, that was that. Can't really recommend that either. I mean, it's fine. But... Meh. There are better cotton candy flavor products. Lucrezia. Are they the Borgia or the Lannisters? I hope you have treated our guest with kindness. Oh, that mouth on her. How I'd love to sew it shut. I rather like it open myself. Oh. <laughs> have you talked to the Pope about the funds requested by my banker? He is away from the Castello, and he might need some convincing when he returns. That shouldn't be a problem. Should it? No. Only it gets quite lonely here. You and I spend so little time together these days, busy as you are with your other conquests. Soon. Once I have secured the throne of Italia, you are going to be my queen. And your loneliness will be a thing of the past. I cannot wait. Behave yourself while I am gone. Kinky. Alright. So next we get to talk about... <laughs> fucking Black Widow. Oops. What are you doing? Turn around. There we go. Swing, man. Swing. Ah, oh, there we go. Disappointed. Yeah. 
Yeah, now we get to talk about Black Widow. Which is a disappointment. It is. It's a disappointment. It's... It's shallow. And it is horribly edited. I don't know how that made it past fucking... Like... First draft. Like, there are just some cuts in that film that just seem... It feels like they cut out five minutes of fucking shots in between. Shit just jumps all over the place. And you can never fucking see anything. Open her cell. How was the journey to Roma? Did you sit in Cesare's private carriage? You're pathetic, Lucrezia. What did he talk about? His plans for Napoli? Did you like it? I can't remember. Perhaps you will remember this. Ah! That puts you in your place. Lock it and give me the key. Yeah. And overall, it's just poorly paced. There is so much... I get it's an action film, but it is... Boring action for the most part. And it is shallow, nothing's... The, the characters are never in any actual danger, you can tell. There's no tension to it. Yet it's entirely a tension-driven fucking, like, first two-thirds of the film. With little dialogue other than a bit of banter between the sisters. A little bit. And nothing, no, nothing thematic actually ac happening. They allude to some thematic stuff, talking about... ...being trained as killers and having different paths and stuff like that, but then goes nowhere. And then they bring in the other characters, like the dad who has absolutely no fucking pl plot in the story. Except for comedic relief. It's like Drax in Guardians of the Galaxy. It's fucking useless. And then because... All the pl plot happens in these contrived little... Mystery reveals that happen after the fucking fact. They have this like... 20 minute long conversation between the bad guy who you've barely seen up until this point, up until the end, and then and Black Widow. And then the film just ends. It just fucking ends. So that was disappointing too. My treat myself day was very disappointing. Oh my back. Please, can you reach this water jug for me? I cannot get it myself. Anything else I can reach, princess? <laughs> Hi there, I didn't get the key, but whatever. Apparently that part of the plan isn't what are you doing important. Here? Paying a visit to the tailor. Rescuing me will provoke Cesare's So that's story time, Don. I only took like two hours the for a 20 minute answer, story. So I assume not. Do you know where she is? But I was molested and robbed and disappointed and... Alright, stay here. That key is as good as mine. Set for two hours of a movie that... Didn't have two hours of movie in it. <laughs> and still felt like it was cut down. <laughs> yeah. Where am I going? Wait, who's this guy? Hey buddy, can I put you out of your misery? No. God damn it. Wait, what the fuck? He released himself! And he's invincible. Um... Time to leave! Feel free! Time to leave, go on. I mean... You worked your way out of the shackles just fine. Apparently they're just props. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you look like you could use some of this. It, nice magic trick you pulled off there. Why can't I? Oh. <laughs> Why can't I throw it? I'm not allowed to throw it that way. Time to go visit your brother. What? Where do you think you are? This guy's been in here too long. He's just daydreaming shit now. Okay, I go up maybe? And around here maybe? I love you so. I want to sing it to the heaven. Please, you must whisper it only to yourself. If Cesare found out, who knows what he would do. Are you not newly widowed? He killed my husband. Oh. Cesare has always been jealous of my attentions. But that should not deter us. How do I get out of here? This way. Grazia, your lips cold. What was that? I... I'm late for rehearsal. Farewell, my love. Oh, that door's just open now. I heard the entire exchange, Mia Signora, and can vouch for it. Good. Tell Cesare. We shall see how it feels when the shoe is on the other foot. Yes, Signora. Please, continue. I did not mean to interrupt. Ezio yes, Auditore you did. Da Firenze. How nice to finally meet after hearing so much. A pity Cesare is no longer here. He would have enjoyed this. My fight is not with you, Lucrezia. Free Caterina, and I will stand down. Impossible. Then you leave me no choice. Guards! This is all? I don't know, that sounds like there's someone else. Okay, again, this is all. Oh, if my lock on worked. I keep forgetting there's no heavy attack anymore. What? Most of your men are dead. Whoops, God's sake. You are here to cause trouble, so you're coming with me. Scream, however, and I will be forced to take your tongue. Rescuing princesses from castles now? Yeah, may as well. <laughs> Ain't got much else to do except buy property. There! There! Get him! And stab dudes. But that was already my Sunday evenings. <laughs> God's sake, where are you going? Where are you going? Why are you running? Why are you running? I bet you think you're doing great things. Charging around, killing whomever you wish. Eh, you know. I don't you know, know what became of the Patsy once your hunt was finished? Your dear friend Lorenzo stripped them of everything and threw them into prison. Even those who played no part of the conspiracy. Okay, I'm cool with that. Forbidden to marry, and the family tombstones were erased, wiped from the history books. Poof, just like that. Okay. I'm cool with that. They were douchebags. No, 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 let's not do this, come on. You ignored the consequences of your actions, content to set events into motion, but unwilling to see them through. I'm here, aren't I? Cesare will finish what he started and bring peace to Italia. He kills for a higher purpose, unlike you. 
Okay, nice escape attempt. Now this time... Throw it down the stairs! Oh. No, 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 no. Tackle on the stairs. Oops. Oh, right. there we go. The ignorant make easy targets. Whatever, my words are wasted here. Hypocrita. Wait, am I going the right way? It was this way, wasn't it? Yeah. Now I demand you to release that man. Oh, shit. Uh, do we have to do this? And why does this music sound like the music of the library in Halo? Now release this man and this other man inside him. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe let that one finish mutating for a little while. Yeah, this sounds like Hitman music. Salute, Lucrezia. How I've missed you. By a party fotter at Troia. Always a pleasure. Bring her here, I'll take the key. Oh, classy. Guards! Guards! <laughs> That's enough out of you! Can you walk? No. I guess we are going out the front. Do you not get it? Wow, that was quick. <laughs> just... Couldn't have seen that one coming. I am a stealthy assassin. As if I have a choice. Nope. Oh, upskirting. Wasn't trying to switch. Leave me alone. You have a family. It is not your family. Come on. What are you doing, Ezio? Killing the people who are trying to kill me, you know? Usually a good I idea. At the villa. I had to ensure our allegiance to protect Forley. Do you oh, understand? Ezio? Wow. Wow, this is not the time to drop that bombshell. Maybe just wait. No, hold on. Actually. Well, this will be payback for that then. Yeah, there's going to be four of us in here. Feel and like only two of them are dead bodies. That's a good ratio. Excuse me, sir, would you like a woman? I suppose not. That's okay, don't dodge your choices. Seems to open from over there. Oh, can I just leave you here then? Hold on. I am returning to my target. <laughs> my target. Interesting way of putting it. Oh well. Do what it says. Kill her. What do you want? Give me the fuck alone. What? There we go. <laughs> Fine, where's the other gate? Up there. No. 
Oops. I swear I'm not meaning to upskirt this girl so much. I swear. I swear. I swear on my left. I only upskirt girls on Thursdays. And Wednesdays. And Tuesdays. And Saturdays. Okay, why? I get he's exerting a lot of energy, but those grunts are a little, um. That's a different kind of exertion of energy. That's not quite what's happening here. Oops. Throwing lollies around. As you do. Okay, let's go. I said, let's go! Go to Isola Tiberina. Find Machiavelli there. You'll be waiting for me. What about you? Someone has to stay here and distract the guards. Get back in one piece. Or I will never forgive myself. Go! Never forgive yourself anyway. You fucked me for political reasons only. It's like how that masseuse child <laughs> grabbed my ass for money reasons only. I assume. I don't know. I didn't ask her to, but... Maybe not. Should I be flattered? <laughs> I mean, these guys should be flattered. I'm even bothering to kill them. Such a waste of my time. See? Got yeeted. It's a little like I'll just yeet my enemies. Oops. Oh wait, I can do this thing, can't I? Wow, where do these fellas come from? Where'd these fine fellas come from? You want the same massage I got? Okay, I can go now, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep, good job. No, you're not getting money from me right now. Silly beggar. <gasps> Excuse me, gods. Can you please stop killing me for a second? I need to be generous. I need to show my charity. All right. I am very tired, as you can probably tell. Probably. It wasn't the most interesting stream, but you know. That's how it be sometimes. So, let's see if we can read someone more interesting. We can. Nah, it's just maybe <laughs> anyway, whatever.